I joined MTG after high school because I had passion for working with girls. I was registered as a player in 2009 after the peer educators training. Midodoni League Field was started, so I played at Midodoni Field where I was selected as the field leader. Through my volunteering in MTG, I was also trained as volunteer divisional assistant for Ganze, where I worked with the DA Ganze, and then I became the divisional assistant Kaloleni. I worked in Kaloleni for seven years. My role was to recruit and register girls, also to ensure that leagues were being played, and also to organize community forums with parents and stakeholders in the area. The challenges that I faced were some parents were resistance and also the schools were also resistance for MTG girls to participate in the program because they felt that when girls participate in the program, they, they are going to get pregnant. But for me, that was not the case because we had a school that MTG was not doing its activity there. And the school recorded so many cases of girls who got pregnant. I happened to be transferred to Bamba. And when I was transferred to Bamba, for me, I was happy because I was coming to my sub-county and I knew that I'll come and give back to my community. Girls in Bamba face so many challenges because of the prolonged drought. We have water shortage in the area. Girls do not have money to buy sanitary towels and also the issue of farming. Some girls, it's hard for them to come to the field because they lack even food to eat. But we encourage them to come to the field. And the most thing that I've loved with Bamba, parents are very supportive. I can say I'm a case study for MTG. Personally, I benefited from MTG because after high school, I stayed for six years before I joined college. And I joined college after being employed in MTG. I worked for six months and then MTG supported me with funds. I joined college. I've seen so many girls realizing their, go uh, their goals through MTG. My name is Harriet and this is my story.